Hello and welcome to this video where we will dive into the worlds of Windows 11 licensing. If you ever wondered about the differences between the Home, Pro and Enterprise Edition, so you are in the right place, let's make sense of all of it. So generally, Windows 11 comes in three primary editions, Home, Pro and Enterprise. Each is designed for specific types of user from personal use to professional and enterprise environment. So here you can see that we have represented all these different types of Windows 11 like Windows 11 Home with the Home, with the House symbol, Windows 11 Pro with the briefcase, Windows 11 Enterprise with the building, which means what? That Windows 11 Home is mostly specifically designed for the home user, while the Windows 11 Pro is help the user in professional in the corporate sector. And Windows 11 is for the whole corporate network where you have a large number of network PCs and workstation. You know that in these places, Windows 11 Enterprise could do do good. Now, if you explore the Windows 11 Home. So you can also see that from the picture that Windows 11 Home is perfect for everyday user because it includes like core features, redesigned smart menus, Microsoft Edge, access to Microsoft Store, and Gamer will also love its integration with the Xbox, which you can already explore from the Windows 11 environment. But however, it lacks advanced features like the BitLocker and the remote desktop, but this current version that we are currently using in Windows 11 videos is not the home edition. That's why you can able to see the BitLocker and remote desktop, but the home edition is lack of these features. Then if we talk about the Windows 11 Pro edition, so as you can see the picture that we have presented here that tells what and Windows 11 Pro in this edition is geared towards the professionals and small businesses. It builds on the home edition by adding enhanced security with BitLocker, productivity tools like the remote desktop and support for joining domain and Azure Active Directory. So if you manage a small team or need better control over your device, Pro is the way to go and it helps you to do a lot of things because currently maybe if we go to the settings and check the current version of the windows that we are using so maybe we will get the detail like it's pro yeah so currently we are using the windows 11 pro for these windows 11 videos why because these windows 11 pro features help you to easily display all the components and you know all the different offerings that windows 11 has and you can see that we are seamlessly showing you different features and different functions within the windows 11 why because we are using windows 11 pro and that's a benefit that you have already seen in the different demonstration videos where we are using and utilizing different windows 11 features and component to show you and to prove some idea so that's what it means that by using Windows 11 Pro, you will have the advanced features, but there are some limitations that we are going to explore later on in this video. And that comes with the Windows 11 Enterprise Edition. Finally, this Windows 11 Enterprise, you know, is designed for uh, a large organization with complex IT needs, and it includes everything in Pro Plus feature like advanced security tools, virtualization option, and Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And uh, this edition is best for businesses that require top-notch security and scalability. And you will be wonder, well, wondering that how you can realize and how you can compare all these features. So for that purpose, I've already collected all the features that needs to be compared and that, need, that needs to be in front of each other 
and that enables and helps you to take the decision about the which version that you're going to use which type of Windows 11 is best match to your requirement and will do the good work for you now here you can see that on the Windows 11 home we just have the core feature start menu taskbar and just goes to the Microsoft Edge browser so we have the basic functions and mostly like it also enables the gaming feature so it is good for the personal and for you know gaming purpose you you, you should go to the Windows 11 home but in the pro it extends to the Windows Sandbox Hyper-V virtualization and we have already used these features in previous Windows 11 videos and you can watch these videos and see that how seamlessly we are working on these features and enable these different modes of Windows 11 environment then if you compare the Windows Home and Pro with the Windows 11 Enterprise you will find that you have some more granular control and feature of Windows 11 like the WIP, App V, User Experience Virtualization, Advanced Security, Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Long Term Services Channel, Enterprise Security Feature, Volume Licensing. So that defines the top notch security and scalability. Now, as you have already got the idea that how you can compare and how you will get the accurate data about which type of Windows environment you should go for. Now, if we just check out the licensing and the pricing, so Windows 11 Home, let's start with the Home, are typically pre installed in the consumer devices. But if you wanted to purchase the Windows 11 Home from the Microsoft environment, then you can, you should come to this link and it will be about $139. You can download or you can go with the USB English, which is currently out of order so you can download it from the Microsoft website but in the in the you know the typically pre-installed environment you will find Windows 11 already there in the devices but you know Pro can be purchased as an upgrade because if you already have the Windows 11 home in your machine and you wanted to upgrade your machine to the Windows 11 Pro so you can come to this link and you can include with business focus PCs so here you will have the link and you can download the Windows 11 Pro from here because Pro contain a lot of features that we have already discussed in the same way you have the enterprise on the other hand is usually acquired through the volume licensing agreement and making it exclusive to the business and first you need to explore that which enterprise type of Windows 11 you prefer and that match matches to your requirement because it's like Windows Enterprise E3, E5, Windows Enterprise E3, Microsoft 365 F3. So there are a lot of things that you need to figure out before taking decision to get the Windows 11 Enterprise Edition. So choosing the right edition depends on your needs. For casual user, home is great. For professionals and small teams, Pro is solid choice. And for large organization, enterprise is the gold standard. So we hope this video helped you to understand the key differences between the Windows 11 Home, Pro, and Enterprise. And for more details, visit the Microsoft.com or consult your IT team. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insight. Thanks for watching.